you are emotionally down. Hey, you put your hand in your hair and you pull it out and say, hey, half wow, my dear. Forget about him. Huh? Somebody better will come. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? Today is day three of the hair issue series. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at hair thinning, receding hairline, alopecia. Basically, we're going to be looking at everything that is relating to hair loss be it at the front part of your hair or some particular areas on your head. If you know you're experiencing bald spot um, and you're experiencing hair loss, your hair keeps pulling out every single time, then keep watching this video. Without wasting time, let's get right into today's video. First of all, what is alopecia? Alopecia just means hair loss. Everything I'm, that is relating to hair loss, okay, that's alopecia. We have traction alopecia and traction alopecia is the hair loss that is caused by tension of hairstyles and some other kind of tiny bt activities we do on our head okay we sit in hairline you notice let's just say your front hair those of you that know it as your front hair your front hair is gone you don't have front hair again that's we sit in hairline so now what are the things that causes hair loss basically hair loss could be heredity it could be that you guys um in your family you just seen that you guys don't have hair okay and most of the time is this very just some very chronic ones that they are usually like really bald all over their head and they don't have any hair at all while some of them it could be that they don't have front hair now there's something they call hairline on your head your hairline is where the your hair starts in front some people their hairline really like starts even like on their forehead i don't know how to explain you see some people that their eyebrows and their hair kind of like joins together and you see some people their hairline it's not very much at the front it is very normal your hairline can start somewhere behind it can start in front you can have hairs at the side but this side you might not have hair it just depends on how it is in your gene how it is in your in your family and so on but if you notice that you actually have hair and then you start losing this hair then that is what we see in hairline so everything can actually be the cause of hair loss or receding hairline or alopecia so check your family very well if you guys have it if you guys experience it every time it could be heredity all right Secondly, it could be hormonal imbalance. I talked about this thing in one of my videos in the, previously, and I said my elder sister experiences something in health, some health issues, um, glaucoma, hormonal imbalance, PCOS, and some other stuff. Like it's really a lot, and she has to like she was placed on medication right from a very very young age. It has really 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 affected her hair. But one thing that has really helped her is that we had to start when I found that Ayurvedic herbs really helped my hair. I had to bring her into using Ayurvedic herbs. She's never very consistent with it, but Ayurvedic herbs good product. And protective hairstyle really helped her hair. She experienced a lot of hair breakage and she, she experiences it once in a while because of the health condition, okay? Which is, so I say, possibly normal because of a health issue. So if you're having hormonal imbalance or any medical conditions right there, it could even be cancer or any other thing. There is a high chance that that's the reason why you're experiencing hair, hair loss. Thing could be age. If you are getting older, your body starts reacting to some kind of things your body can't probably do as much as it used to do before and you're expected to rest more there are some foods you are not even advised to eat at a particular time of your life your body can no longer digest them as it used to before so that's the same thing with hair also your hair your follicles they are trying to like rest they are becoming weaker and, and your skin start losing its um, elasticity and so many other things while you're aging it is very very normal and same thing too with your hair okay so you might start experiencing things like hair loss when you are aging then again, the use of drugs. So when you're using some kind of drugs, you might also experience hair loss. And what I mean by the drugs, I mean medications, okay? We can have some side effects from using some kind of medications. Like I said, and I explained with my sister, a lot of people experience that aside your health issues, when you use some kind of drugs, the side effects could be hair loss. And most of the time, those are like really, really serious um, medical um, issues that when you have to use some kind of drugs, you experience hair loss. The very common one people experience is maybe diarrhea, um, headache or some kind of things dizziness but when it comes to hair loss that can be a very very serious medication you are taking so you need to make sure you check with your doctor next thing we need to look at again is stress a lot of people um, experience hair loss because of stress if you are going through a lot of stress trust me you experience hair loss a lot of people after they give birth complain of hair loss hair loss hair loss hair loss, hair loss. i understand the fact that you just give it your body your hormones everything has changed and so on but it could also be from the sleepless night, the stress, and so on. Because a lot of people complain they lose hair after giving birth, right? Have you also looked at the stress part of it? It could be, it could, it might not be because you gave birth. It might be because of stress. But because of others, it could be that because your body experienced some changes, that's why they are losing it. And it could also be both. So check your stress level. Make sure you rest. And for those people that experience hair loss um, after birth, after giving birth, your hair will come back. By the time you become relaxed, why some people does not come back is because 
the stress is like extended. It keeps going on and on. Probably the children um, cry a lot or they are doing this. Take care of the kids, take care of the husband, take care of the home. And they have other children and then business and some other things. Women are really trying. So it could be that the stress of everything, psychologically, the whole shock and everything could be why you're experiencing hair loss. So all you need to do is just to try and take some break in a day and just try and rest and just give your body time. Something else that can cause hair loss, the kind of hairstyles you make. So there are a lot of hairstyles you make that are really bad. The hairstyles you make that is really, really bad is this Ghana weaving. No shades thrown to Ghanaians, but as it's called, Ghana weaving. That hairstyle, especially the one they pick the front part of your hair, it is very bad. Since I started my hair care journey, I think I've done that hairstyle just once. Yeah, I think just once. And I did. I don't think I did it straight cornrows. I think I parted the middle and I did it this way. That way, it was even lesser pressure. But starting it from the, the part of your hair and going backwards. When you take down that hairstyle, trust me, you're taking down your natural hair together with it because they have to pick it gradually. They have to make sure it's neat and so on. And it is not really good. Some other hairstyles we also do could be some kind of tight ponytails and so on. Consistent use of some gels and products. Those things can cause hair loss. When your hair reacts to some kind of harsh chemicals, it can cause hair loss. Some chemicals cause hair loss. Poor nutrition can also cause, poor nutrition can cause hair loss. So if you're not eating good food with nutrients that your body needs, there is a high chance that those nutrients are not properly distributed to where it is needed. So just the way we need vitamin D, we need vitamin E, we need vitamin blah, 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 we need vitamin Z, we need vitamin what's not and so on. For some, they all serve different purposes in our body. And that is the same way it is. So strengthen your hair, strengthen your nails, strengthen your eyesight, strengthen your muscles, strengthen your bones, help reproduce blood cells, blah, 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 and so on. Make sure you always have very good nutrients, okay? Poor nutrients can lead to poor, um, poor health, which can also lead to poor hair and poor hair production. So it's not everything, gene, gene, gene. Hair is not my gene. They can be hair your gene. Hmm? Everybody using gene, gene, gene as excuse. Gene, uko. Trausani. So what are the signs that you are experiencing alopecia or hairline issues, receding hairline, or you're experiencing hair loss generally? You notice that whenever you comb out your hair, you're having like a ball of hair packing up. That was one thing that made me take down my chemically relaxed hair. And I started this hair journey. I was having <laughs> severe hair loss. Like I don't even need to comb my hair once I put my hand in my hair and pull it out. I'm holding a ball of hair. I ha never had the plan to go into content creation. Honestly, I, I was not having a plan to. Even when I started my hair journey, I only go into content creation that was last year. It's like a year now. And when I was experiencing that then, there was I did not really have it in mind to take the picture. I'm, I was not really taking pictures of everything in my life. So if not, I would have shown you guys how terrible it was. So I had to go take down my hair entirely and then start all over. Starting all over and here I am. And I'm so happy it happened. Honestly, I don't know. I'm just happy because if it did not happen, I would not be here today. Glory to God. <laughs> Once you notice that your hair is pulling out because of harsh chemical, you're noticing your hair is pulling out. That is a sign that you're having hair loss. And trust me, if you don't handle it, it's not going to stop. Then I even did everything I could. It did not stop. So I just had to take down my entire hair. Your case might not be like that. And I did not have so much knowledge like I had now. Okay. If I had the knowledge, I guess I would have still kept my hair. But I'm happy I did not have the knowledge to keep the hair. And if you notice a lot of... um bald um spots on your head all these patchy bald spots on your head then there's a high chance you're experiencing alopecia so you have to handle that as fast as possible if you notice that you've tried everything you could do you used every product that you could use and nothing is working out just go see a doctor go and see a doctor it could be a health condition you don't know they should check your blood very way it should not be that it's not your arrow i never said anything on so, uh, if you also know you're experiencing a lot of emotional stress and physical stress, that period, you need to also check on your hair. And once you notice your hair is pulling out at that particular period, you're actually, maybe you're crying over your boyfriend, you're emotionally down. Hey, you put your hand in your hair and you pull it out and say, hey, I have pull out, my dear. Forget about him. Hmm? Somebody better recall. <laughs> Trust me on this. Moving on to the next. So how can you prevent hair loss? There are various ways you can prevent hair loss. The first thing first. You people, I want to draw your ear. Open your ear and hear me away. Leave tight hair alone. Why did you leave tight hair alone? I don't know. Leave, why do you guys like pain, torment and torture? Why? Leave tight hair. Just, just leave it. They are not be able to do tight hair. Leave it alone. Ah. Second thing. 
Stay away from harsh chemicals. It's fine if you want to color your hair. But make sure anybody that's coloring your hair, they're doing it very well. And then the aftercare. Make sure your hair is always moisturized and you're taking care of it very well. And be very sure the chemical did not destroy your, your scalp. It did not like affect the one thing, one thing, one thing or the other. So please, stay away from harsh chemicals if possible. It's not only using chemical dye that is harsh chemical. There are other harsh chemicals people also put on their head. So basically, just stay away from anything harsh chemical. It's going to help prolong the, 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 the life of your follicles, okay? That way you don't experience hair loss. You're welcome. Mm. You need to be gentle with your hair. I see some of you detangling your hair and you're like, why are you detangling your hair that way? Careful with it. Hair is tender. Hair that you can pull like this. If you drag your hair too much, even no matter how strong your hair is, there's way you pull it. It's, you wear pa. That's what you are doing. Is it because of your hair that your boyfriend broke up with you? Why are you being aggressive with it? Is it because of your hair that, that you know, so it's unfair to come and arrest me in my house, but you know the reason why everybody's suffering in the country. So, why do you have to add so much pressure? Don't pressure the hair. The hair has nothing on you. If your hair is not doing very well, in fact, you're at fault, not the hair. So be gentle with it. Treat it like a baby because it's a baby, okay? This point I'm about to bring might not be very important, but it is also very important. We don't pay attention to it, including me. Although it has not in any way affected my hair. But like I said, we are all different. What affects you might not affect me, which is sunlight. So, go you out with your hair to... I, I'm saying it's not really affect me because I'm not one to really start under the sun. And if I thought I go under the sun and with a face cap, a bucket hat or something, don't mind the fact I'm using a bucket hat inside the house, there's no sun. But my hair is extremely rough and don't tell me to go make it because I'm very lazy to do that. So, if you're going out under the sun, I'll suggest you use like a face cap. It even protects your face, like your skin. So, like, sun is not entering into your eyes. Just cover your hair one way or the other, okay? That way, to help reduce the effect of the sun. The sun does not really have a very good effect on you if, you all, if you're always in it every single time. Especially that afternoon sun to evening sun. It's not very good, all right? So, just try and reduce how you stand under the sun. You're not a conductor. Thank you. It's strong conductors. Conclusion. You might experience hair loss at some point in your life. And if I tell you experience it, these are the possible reasons. But if you're a Nigerian... Trust me, your problem for hair loss, aside from family, is your hairstyles. We do very, very terrible hairstyles in Nigeria. So, in Nigeria. So, if you're in Nigeria, please, we can do better with the kind of hairstyles we do. One way, again, that can help you when you're experiencing hair loss, always massage your scalp. I don't joke with massaging my scalp every single time. Every day. If I don't massage my scalp any day, at least the second day or the third day, it should be like a normal thing. I don't mean scratching your scalp. I mean massaging your scalp. Always massage your scalp. It will help with blood circulation. And to help promote a good, that way you're kind of like reawakening your um your your follicle, you're telling it to stand up, arise, and shine. How can you help yourself if you're experiencing hair loss? And make use of damarula. A damarula is like a very small tool with uh, micro needles, and use it on that particular spot horizontally, vertically, diagonally, and after that, apply your hair goods oil. If you have hair goods oil or serum to it okay it will kind of wake up your hair for the clothes and tell you wake up produce hair for me my love that's like the purpose so a damarilla can actually help you constantly massaging your hair can help you get away from hair loss and using the right products can also help all right applying the right products for you on your hair can help strengthen your hair and then don't forget, massaging helps a lot. It really 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 helps a lot. Don't forget to use your hair growth oils and hair growth serum on your scalp. That way, it will help deposit nutrients into your follicles and help strengthen your follicles, which in turn will help the follicles produce better hair and strands. Okay, this is just a summary of what can help your hair loss. If you need a better understanding of it, I would suggest you go and do research with your phone and data. Thank you so much for being a part of today's class, I guess. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in my next video. At this point, I need to go and sleep. I want to drop. I feel very, very sick. Oh my god. I'm just really trying to create this content because I made a promise to myself to create this content this week. See you guys in my next video. Bye.